All right, y'all, what's going on? Today, we are here with my brother's Tahoe, and we are going to be lowering this thing. It's a four-inch drop in the front, and I believe it's a two or three-inch in the, uh, sorry, four-inch in the rear and two or three-inch in the front. I'll ask him when he comes out. But this is a 2016 Tahoe, and this is what we're gonna be lowering. It's a clean whip. T, what drop, what's the drop exactly? The Beltec 2.4. So it's a, it's a two four, so two in the front, four in the rear. It's a clean whip. Um, we have another Tahoe out front lowered on 24, so I'll show you guys that after, but I wanted to get a before and after to see what it looks like. On the stock wheels, at least. All right, you can pull her in. This is her now. This is the whip. All right, so he's pulling it, in, pulling it in. I'm not gonna film like the entire thing step by step, but if there is anything that's like a pain, I'll show y'all. But I mainly just wanted to get a nice before and after. So yeah, we're about to bust it out. This is the uh, the trim package that comes with everything blacked out from the factory too. RST, thank you. All right, y'all, got the rear springs out. We're about to toss these new ones in one last time. I just wanted to show you. It is the uh, Belltech Drop Kit 2.4. So these are the new springs. I'll show you compared to the old ones. Pretty obviously similar. They're just steel springs, but you can see um, this is actually a pretty evenly spaced coil. And this one gets a little tighter wound towards the bottom. But yeah, so this is the kit going in. Comes with your new bushings for the uh, bump stop and then it comes with new pads for top and bottom and obviously new hardware so about to toss it in all right y'all other side spindles already on i'm just going to show you what it looks like before we toss it on real quick all it does is the same spindle it just raises the, the wheel hub height brings this up which brings your wheel up mm. which brings your suspension down you can turn yeah so there's the belt that's on obviously and this is stop on is that much higher the bottom ball uh, bottom yeah, ball yeah, yeah, yeah. The wheel is higher. Therefore, you can see it. Makes the car lower. Huh, interesting. So that's it. This is the Belltech one. That's the factory one. The other side's done. We're about to throw this on right now. And then you'll get to see what it looks like. And we'll show you the one. There's another Tahoe here, like I said, with the exact same drop on it, but it's got a different set of wheels. This is going to be factory wheels, so you kind of get to see the two looks. So, yeah. So we finished the lowering kit. This is the Belltech 2.4. This is after on the stock wheel entire setup. I just wanted to show y'all right before he leaves with it. That way I'm sure in the future wheels and tires are gonna be coming. So I wanna show you guys what it looks like before. But it looks good. Definitely a huge improvement. Just going from the factory look. What do you think T? Looks really good. Nice and level. Yeah. The, uh, it does come with a set of spacers in there that we didn't use, um, but that gives you an inch higher in the rear if you wanted to do that. But this sits perfectly level just like this. So it looks really good. I think there's a must, must do. If you're gonna go the level drive, do this right away. It was like 500 bucks. Yeah. It was like 500 bucks to lower it. It took us an, like two hours messing around. If we grinded it out, it would've been faster. I showed y'all when we were in there, but you can't really see much here. But it was it was pretty simple to do. Um, but yeah, it looks good. I just wanted to show y'all an after. So I will show you later down the road when we do more to this thing or when he gets wheels and tires. He might even keep the stock wheels. These are 22s. If you change it, you'll probably go 24s. But he might run this. It looks good. Maybe make the wheels go all black, something like that. But it looks good. I'll show you from the back. see he said he st uh, stuffed it on the front a little bit because he wasn't used to it it is it's decently low it's definitely I, I think I have my tape measure on me I do let's see what our wheel gap is so rough estimate obviously let's see from doing this with one hand y'all bear with me right about four and a half four and a half from tire defender but it tucks, tucks it nice. Like I said, this is the factory 22s. Tucks it nice, it looks good. So yeah, I definitely recommend this drop. Everything you needed was in the kit. Instructions if you need to read them, but it was just front spindles, rear springs, easy, and it looks good. So 
If you guys have any questions, let us know. It's a 2016, right? 18. Never mind, it's 2018. I was two years off. But if you guys have any questions, let us know. I'll let you know down below. It was easy, though. I'm sure most of you guys can can get it taken care of pretty easily. So, yep, that's it for the video. We'll catch you on the next one.